much appreciated. that I've been dreading to play. Not because it's necessarily bad, it's just it's not the best at supporting. <laughs> the medium, the heavy, doing all the playing hours, the extra 50 hours I had to put into this game in season four, I can conclude the light has to be the worst in terms of team support, but fantastic and killer. Most weapons can kill in a couple shots. Man, except for the bow. The bow's just dog shit. <laughs> There's a handful of dog shit weapons in there. But balancing this game has just been weird. I've seen a lot of complaints. But at the same time, the complaints are just... I don't know. Really goofy. Really goofy. You got a game that feels very well balanced here. I think it's quite balanced as well. Yeah, all the classes feel like they suck compared to what they used to be in their former glory, but I guess that's a good thing, but at the same time, when it takes entire mags to usually kill most classes, it kind of sucks. But it's that weird tug and pull of countering everything to make sure everyone lives long enough, which I also heard that devs were also considering upping HP pools because the times of kills were too low, yet the biggest complaint players have is that you have to dump an entire mag or two just to kill one guy. So there's a very strange, I don't know, there's some tug and pull there in that feedback and actual gameplay maybe. Heavy's doing the best, but at the same time, not really. Because let's really think about that. Heavy's are the least popular, right? They're chosen, I would say, maybe 10. 15% of the gaming community in the finals, and then you have 
let's see, a high win rate in that portion versus the light and the medium class. Of course, you're going to have a disproportionate amount of, what is it, win rates between them. It's like every 5 out of 10 lights win a game, right? Sounds about right. But then, really, you have two out of three heavies winning games, which doesn't sound like it makes sense, but when you have most people playing as, like, like 90% of people playing either between the medium and the lights, you're never going to get a fair proportion of win rates. And then you have RNG, skill, uh, well, yeah, skill issue, I guess. Learning curve, all these factors between weapons, classes, the web, uh, the map layout, all sorts of things. Even the activations of the randomness, like low gravity here, play so many roles into this game. It's incredible how well balanced it can be right now, but at the same time, I'm thinking of other games that have, like, um... Like this, uh, the other game I play that you'll see here on the channel from time to time, Warhammer 3. They have win rates and all that for the games, for the factions. There's 23 factions, so that's a lot of balancing on CA's part. And then you have this game where you have just three classes and a bunch of guns, so it can be quite similar and different. But yeah, in that game, tournament games, you can have a player or a couple players who are top in running low end factions into high win rates. So that's kind of, I think, what's happening here with Heavy. You just have pretty decent players, but also a low player count keeping a lot of the losses away from a very unpopular class. Whereas the light, super popular, but plenty of people don't know how to play it. <laughs> And usually get killed for it or even if they do know how to play it you still have other teammates that can't just cut it sometimes most of the time honestly that's usually the curse isn't it you gotta you gotta have the worst players on your team and the enemy team has the best and you don't know why that is but it is what it is so yeah and i don't even know if that considers also what is that mode um the boat mode i forget i haven't played that mode in a long time the five player mode I forget the name of it. I wonder if that's also considered, because that game mode is the most, I would say, I don't know, I haven't played it yet. I would assume it would still be pretty imbalanced since you can just constantly switch between classes and such. Which would be pretty strange, because if you played like half the game as a light and then half the game as a heavy, how does it conclude your win? Is it the class that you lost at the last five seconds in when the game's over? I don't know. It's very strange. I assume it's going to be this data, though, because I have not found any data from what the devs were saying and what people have been complaining about online and on the channel about the classes. So, it's very... How should I put this? It's vague on how good most of these classes can be. I mean, I... I think the light still is probably one of the best classes, and I would say all the classes are quite balanced except for the heavy. The heavy kind of feels really clunky. The light though is just so easy to maneuver, you have so many options, you can't go into it with... Uh, you can't go into melee with them, but that's okay. That's plenty fine. You don't need to go into melee, you got plenty of other options. Even not going into melee, you're going with the shotgun. I love the shotgun. This M26 has been a baller this whole game. Every game I played it was amazing. The worst one has to be the bow and the dagger. There's no reason for those weapons. I've heard people online even complain about sword melee, which I could understand with certain fat uh, classes, certain weapons. It could be an absolute balls to the wall action and hard to maneuver with sensitivities but you know dash light is still good so <laughs> either you gotta get better or you just gotta work on it i don't know but i've certainly been having fun with this game and i hope you guys have too if you did like the video please like sub follow me here on youtube come join me on the stream when we have them join the discord 
And yeah, hope you guys have a good one. Peace and goodbye for now.